You head up uh, Huawei's R&D units, especially around 5G technology. Tell us a little bit about your role um, and how Huawei, uh, what kind of efforts Huawei puts into R&D. Yes, uh, I'm leading the Huawei 5G uh, early research and R&D uh, process. Uh, and the teams also uh, uh, the uh, projects. So the uh, the R and D effort we have today is about uh, 300 experts full time working on 5G in the global uh, uh, sites that uh, centers that we have around spread over around eight uh, centers. And what progress have you made so far on 5G? What can you share with us? Uh, we we at the moment we focus on foundational technology. Uh, that means these are technology with very high risk, and some of them are not uh, exist uh, uh, before even in the three G or four G technologies. Uh, so, for example, five uh, G will uh, create a new air interface technology that will replace the current 4G and 3G. Uh, we have a, a very good progress uh, to find a new air interface to replace LT uh, uh, interface technology, which is based on OFDM. Mm -hmm. So we move to some other uh, new waveform uh, uh, and uh, the uh, multiple access technology call, combined together called uh, a sparse code multiple access SCMA. So we, we think that will be a nucleus uh, of the 5G, uh, you know, the radio technology uh, to uh, the, uh, build on the standard. Is there anything else you think that 5G will power in the future? 5G will power quite a few new user experience. Open the door, for example, the virtual reali rea reality interaction, uh, a different, completely different new user terminal and interaction. But the bottleneck to enable that today is the speed of a network. Mm -hmm. So 5G will enable that. So you will have uh, whole through uh, things like be, uh, beyond the smartphone, that type of interaction, uh, visual intensive, rich uh, interaction real time. So when can we expect to see 5G? 5G at this stage is comparable to the four, 2004 at the LTE time. So it's still the, uh, exploring the technology stage and then it's a standardization uh, and then it will see the pre-commercial product and the commercial uh, launch that the, you know, the street people will use this at the time of 2020. Do you think it's important for the whole industry and the ecosystem to work together on 5G to, to help drive the technology forward? Uh, yes, this is a number one condition to make 5G happen. That means it is the, five, the success of a 5G, it will be the success of the ecosystem that a lot of players have to be uh, uh, you know, success together. It's the same as the previous generation, 4G and 3G. Therefore, you know, everybody have to work together uh, to uh, bring uh, the current generation technology and the market to the next generation. Wen Tong, thanks for sharing your thoughts on 5G.